localize again I want to show you how to use lighting box latest version uh, from beginning after importing lighting box you have few folders first one documentations post processing 2 beta 3 um, prefabs we have prefabs resource Sampling. It's not important because I just added sample files to accept my package by asset store. The sample is not important. Just first delete and yes. Scripts, shaders, textures. Texture is not important but useful volumetric light asset true flow volumetric light open source ok uh, I want to show you how to use lighting box using landscape auto material asset because it has a very beautiful scene to help me to show you how to use lighting box features uh, after importing landscape with material we have some errors uh, from image effects we don't need any image effects because lighting box has all necessary effects for example Depth of field, legacy, cinematic depth of field, global fog, skin and space reflection, and legacy one from cinematic image effects, global fog from standard assets, and other image effects, not important, sun shaft from uh, standard assets. Okay, so find standard asset effects image effects first delete okay now we have some errors again find editor image effects delete okay everything is okay uh, open your uh, landscape auto material demo scene I just want to show you how to use uh, lighting box in this example scene. Uh, landscape auto material is a uh, too expensive asset. And just want to show you how to use lighting box effects. Okay. First select your camera and re remove all other effects already remove it because we have deleted uh, all image effects so I just want to create a new camera camera and it changes back to main camera autofocus depth of fields okay so now we can open lighting box window drag it here for every scene first you must save your scene already save it save in demo as a demo name then you must create a new lighting profile create a new font inside your decide for layer uh, name it rename it to lamb a new post profile lamp now you can easily customize your light settings and then uh, save all settings into your lighting profile you can share this profile or reuse in your another scenes or projects or share with your friends so 
We want to start working to light the scene. Okay. To start working work on lighting, we just want to know about lighting workflow. Lighting workflow in all engines or renderers. First part. Placing light source uh, adjusting light settings intensity uh, radius color and so on. Adjusting ambient light, lighting, source, color, mode. Okay, this is not an automatic way. We don't have any automatic solution to do this steps. This three steps should be done manually. Uh, second part is post processing. Post processing consists of global fog effects, sun shaft, or volumetric lighting. Depths of field, ambient occlusion, uh, auto exposure, color grading, and so on. This is this all effects is available are available inside lighting box workflow lighting box already has all effects in its window uh, screen space reflections uh, and bloom okay this is the main part of the lighting box you can quickly change add remove these effects using latest lighting box okay and the final part of the lighting is material and reflection settings uh, creating normal map specular map metallic ambient pollution uh, reflections smooth smoothness uh, and so on transparency emission affected by bloom and so, on. so we just want to start working the lighting with first part placing large source the current scene is uh, an um, outdoor scene so we just need a uh, sunlight as a light source so create a uh, directional light as your light source then we need to adjust light setting intensity radius 
the most important part of the sun is its direction or rotation other settings is available in part one sun color intensity indirect intensity only works when you are bake it your scene or reuse the real time GI uh, sun sh uh, lens flare lens flare this one is lens flare you can watch my other videos about making a new one this one has been made based on uh, latest level of the battlefield point. You can find the video in doc files, in documentation files, documentation of the old updates. I will upload it again in my YouTube channel. Okay, color space should be linear because all of the next gen game engines use it same thing uh, gamma color space has better performance on low end devices for example android devices uh, for example in my test on a low end mali uh, gpu i get CFPS linear, chill FPS gamma. Okay, the main, the all effects in uh, lighting box is based on linear color space. So you must select linear color space, color space for your next gen games. Render pass. You can choose render pass for your all cameras in your scene. Preferred uh, graphic settings for what? Graphic settings is here. Graphics. You can change from here or use default value. Then you can adjust your graphics simulation tire 3. Tire 3. Uh, different rendering paths is better to get is better choice to get a smoother reflections and uh, a screen space reflections in forward rendering something like this is not available in unity we have more performance on forward rendering on low-end devices but for high-end devices always choose this one light type you can change all light source types here without do this manually for example we have two light source so like mix and watch all settings change to mix select baked all lights change to baked uh, real time real time and so the best option is always mixed shadows only directional light soft here you can see your shadow already should be activated in quality settings for example uh, hard and soft shadows uh, only directional hard, all light soft, and you can see soft shadows, all light hard, off, off, only works on this type of subject, only directional soft currently and then using light probes automatically adjust your light probe settings blend mode lighting blend mode or pro 
proxy mode automatically add necessary components uh, blend mode is more important um, has more in performance proxy mode is a bit slow okay so we done these two steps first one and this one now we want to adjust ambient lighting source plus color and mode we have two options skybox or color as a ambient lighting if you choose skybox your ambient light should be get from skybox textures color or uh, image based lighting image based lighting is based on the ambient light based on based on uh, skybox textures color call it IBL IBL image based lighting only works when you are baking real time GI or baking uh, whole GI real time GI or bake it in full real time mode you don't have any ambient lighting when you are choosing a spy watch so you just needs to use this too when you are uh, working building real time GI or baking your scene in normal mode it's not works so you needs to choose color color as an ambient light ambient light if you want to uh, get a uh, realistic looking always use white color but here white color always looks more realistic compared to other if you like to get a uh, film mix setup use a bit blue color in Unreal engines always skylight is blue color and in snow scenes use this blue color too in jungles you can use green colors to simulate fake GI sometimes it's useful so I want to choose any col color like Unreal Engine's Skybox okay this is the first part of the lighting adjusting light settings uh, ambient light settings and scene light settings GI, real time GI, the third light settings and so on here you can bake your scene with these settings if you like to bake real time GI always choose very low as a quality to bake your scene 10x faster than high settings for example 3 min minutes or uh, x more ok 10x more uh, so we have learned about part 1 in the scan video I will show you how to work on post post processing this is the main part of the lighting box workflow okay okay